cancer is still the leading cause of death in the United States, and the COVID-19 pandemic certainly did not make that any easier on patients. Good evening, and thanks for joining us tonight at 10. David and Heather both have the night off. Tonight, we start with our Francis Lynn, who spoke to a cancer survivor and an oncologist and tells us how cancer patients are doing, this, do, doing during this time. Yeah, Jesse, so the cancer survivor that I spoke to had breast cancer earlier this year and had a double mastectomy before the COVID-19 pandemic. It was scary, you know, to begin with, to have to go through this during this time. Shelly LeMaine found out she had breast cancer the beginning of this year. And had a double mastectomy with uh, immediate reconstruction. And because of the pandemic, LeMaine's two kids also came home. So that's been nice oh. to have them have them both home. But the financial aspect of that, you know, having them home is, is more expensive. She's thankful she got help from the Breast Cancer Foundation of the Ozarks. BCFO has had probably more requests for help. And our mission is to help people with non-medical life expenses. Which, you know, when you have a 200 to $300 a month bill, it, you know, we can put that towards the medical bills. Joe Dawes, CEO of the BCFO, says cancer patients' financial need is greater now. Either they can't work or their spouse can't work. They still have cancer and need treatment. So they can't just stay in the house and self-quarantine. They still have to go to treatment. Those patients are already strained uh, financially due to their uh, health care costs and, and uh, if uh, they, they lose their job uh, and uh, uh, their health insurance, I can just imagine how devastating that would be. And Dr. Abe Abdallah, medical director of oncology at Cox Health, agrees. During this pandemic, uh, we have to modify our approach uh, without compromising uh, the patient's uh, uh, cure rate. Delaying surgery till we figured out what's happening with COVID-19 pandemic was, it was perfectly reasonable approach. And doctors told me now that the state is opening back up, they're now able to see more patients.